Mike and Russ for the Coin Show Podcast and Harlan J. Burke. And we are here with Seth Chandler from Winner Coin. How do you do, Seth? Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you as well. Yeah, pleasure. yeah, appreciate pleasure. it. Yeah, thanks for having me on. I'm all excited, jazzed up. So we were uh, we were noticing some of the programs that you were doing last year educationally. Sure. And okay. Really, really big fans. Can you tell us a little bit about the program? what you're trying to accomplish and what you want to do. Okay, great. Let's talk about Wittercoin University, okay? Yeah. So Wittercoin University was a uh, idea that I had a couple years ago. Uh, you know, all my kids were at home on their laptops doing school there. And I knew they had a lot of like younger kids uh, that were followers of on Instagram. And I'm like, they're just like my kids. They're at home, but they love coins. So there's no coin shows to go to, no coin clubs. All their action is online. So I figured, you know, once this thing COVID ends gets behind us, we could actually uh, do something special for the kids. So I thought of, okay, if I can get a few of my really cool coin dealer buddies together that are really good at teaching coins and I can raise some money, we could probably provide scholarships and fly out all these kids to San Francisco and like have a one week full blown coin immersion. Now, I get kind of crazy with ideas. So you have this one week course, I'm like, well, wait a second, all these kids, as you start to talk to them, most of them never been to California. And I live in a great American city, San Francisco. So now we gotta do the all day bus tour of San Francisco where we get off at seven different stops, right? It just keeps going. Then, oh, wait a second, we're the only city with three minutes. Let's go on a tour of the San Francisco, man. Let's do things like that. Oh, wait a second, I have America's Coin Shop. Let's do Pizza Night at the Coin Shop and look at great coins. So it just develops into this like, you know, tin headed dragon of a beast. And so the first year we raised uh, about $100,000, provided scholarships for 25 kids. And then uh, this year we raised, last year we raised $175,000, provided scholarships for 40 kids. And it was a blast, we had a really good time. This year it's even better. My goal in life is that when I do something, the next year it's gotta be at least 25% better, right? You gotta make things better all the time. That's how you lose your job, right? Like in life, you always gotta get better. So this year what we're doing is, um, we're having a really big graduation party, okay? The graduation party is kind of the highlight, I think, of Wittercoin U because we'll all get together, and uh, this time we'll have a venue, it'll be about 130 people, and it's me with a microphone. I never met a microphone I didn't like. And we all know the kids very well because we saw their videos, we get to know them over the course of the week. So my wife prints up these graduate, they actually look pretty legit, although it's not. Just so everybody knows, Wittercoin University is not really like a real university, It's you know, it's it's a it's actually a nonprofit, but uh, but the certificates look real. It looks like a college degree, and it's signed by all the instructors. We give them to the kids. We tell little stories about the kids. We get all fired up. So this year, um, we're having the graduation ceremony at the Italian American Club. It holds 200 people. We're gonna have fun games. I'm still thinking of some of the what are some of the physical games you could do with coins? You know, for content, I'm gonna need your input on that. But kind of what makes this year's Wittercoin University go to a whole new level is we're having a coin show. All right. Yeah, right? A coin yeah. show. Put their talents Challenging to work. The, yeah, right? Let's just make this job harder, right? Let's just throw a coin show in the mix. But it's going to be a private coin show, not open to the public, okay? And I'm inviting about 40 different dealers. You know, most everybody's like, of course I'm coming. I invited them to come out on Friday, kind of see what I see, see Wittercoin University, see how much the youth is involved and how so many smart kids, to see what we do, come to the graduation dinner, then all day coin show the next day. And the coin show, it's designed primarily to teach the young numismatist how to do business at a coin show, etiquette, wholesale tools, security, stuff like that. But then again, you put 40 coin dealers in a room and they're gonna do business, right? So yeah, so we're gonna do some business amongst each other. That night, we're heading to a Red Sox Giants game, so it's gonna be a blast. Okay, So we're gonna have a really good time. So for those of you that are watching out there, this doesn't happen without money, all right? So you go to wittercoinu.com, gives everything about the program. If you're a YN or you know a YN, refer them to the website, the whole application process is there. But more importantly, hit that donate button. It's a buddy, <laughs> all right? Doesn't happen without money. All right, so I'm a bit of a pot stirrer. Okay, uh, good, good, I've good. Been, I've been known to me. So we, we were actually having this conversation a little bit um, uh -huh. about, we've seen some more like education stuff yes, pop yes, up lately. Yes, yes. So Stacks, uh -huh. it kind of appears, is taking a little bit of your model almost, but on the adult side, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and are kind of farming talent in-house. Okay. Um, what do you think, is that something do you think we might see from other large firms with like, Please. Almost an internship? The goal of Wittercoin University is to inspire other people to get back to the hobby. They want the blueprint to Wittercoin you, here you go. You want to do a little seminar at your coin shop? What resources do you need from us? We'll give you money, time, coins, whatever it is. That is the main goal of Wittercoin University. You know, when the program first came out, I had a lot of people texting me, oh, it's copying, whatever. But Devin gave me a call beforehand. 
and Devin didn't even say that. Like, I'm supporting whatever Devin wants to do. Whatever Devin wants to do. He's very, he's a very dear friend of mine, and this man gives hundreds of hours every single year from his family, from his work, to teach YN. So whatever program he wants to do, I'm all for it, no doubt. And it's, it is a different program. Yeah. You know, ours is designed for young numismatists, a lot of the entry level from 13 to 20. Devin's is more tailored and it stacks more 18 to, I think, 25, mm -hmm. young professional. So I am all for it. You know, I like to say, tell people, like, look, Whittaker University, you know, in 10 years, if we're like a little community college and everybody else is a Harvard, I'm all for it. I will support any other program. That's what the hobby needs. If we make the hobby great, make it better, makes the business better. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah. I, I think we all yeah. absolutely agree. Yeah, so I when are you going to start your coin university? I'll help you out, we're, no problem. We're all trying to add, yeah. and that's uh, the thing, is if we could put good stuff out there and yeah. good educational stuff yeah. out there, we're all for yeah. it as well. Um, so you've gotten a lot of feedback from this over the last couple of sure, years. Yeah. No. What has been the feedback from younger? Because the thing our hobby has to do is get younger. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the, you know, everybody's yeah. older. So what type of feedback are you getting back from younger people? Oh, they're loving it. I mean, there's a lot more out there than what you think. A lot more. You know, it's usually, oh, this old white guy thing that's been a stigma to our hobby forever. But I think every single person, including dealers who are not even really remotely involved in the future of the hobby, have noticed how many young numismatists are running around at coin shows, wheeling and dealing, doing size behind transactions. So it's been dramatically different. They're all out there. We just, as adults and kind of leaders in the industry, I'm not really a leader, but people in the industry have to like find ways to connect to these kids. And it's really all on social media. It's really kind of connecting and talking and communicating. So they're out there, you just gotta find them and bring them on board. I mean, every year at Whittaker University, we have over 100 applicants. So we, we have to say no a lot too. So the kids are out there, we're just trying to structure programs that, hey, not only can you come for one year, come a couple years later. You know, we don't want to abandon the kids, we want to teach them different skill sets over, over the life of the program. So uh, it's been amazing. And you know, you hear a lot of the dealer feedback I mean, they're kind of shocked by it too as well. I cannot tell you the type of checks we've gotten at this show from dealers, hey, saying, Seth, I really appreciate what you're doing and I get a big check. It's wonderful, it makes my job easier. But um, it, it's incredible and, and one of the reasons why I'm inviting all these coin dealers to have this private coin show so that they can see what I see and hopefully it inspires them to do something. It could be as simple as having a one hour seminar at their shop for young numismatists. We're there to help. And uh, you know, like you have uh, John Dan Ruther, and, and Doug Winter, we just made them honorary Wittercoin U instructors. They were here last year. But you can see it in their eyes. When they're in the room with these 40 young numismatists and say, see the type of questions these kids are asking, they were blown away. They had no idea it was out there. So just let's just keep running with it. We, we've been very blessed to have a, I, I refer to them as a gang. Yeah. Um, a gang of, of YNs oh, that yeah. are, are unbelievably good at what they do. Yeah. Frustrate the bejesus yeah. out of me. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're very um, talented. Because and they are very exactly. driven. They're yeah. they're very talented. Yeah. They're very driven. And I mean, that's a lot of the a lot of the feedback I've heard within the last year or so has been Witter Coin U. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it's summer. I, I love summer seminar. Mm -hmm. That's where. But for a lot of years, that was yeah. all that was there. It's, I remember being, you know, 13 and 14 and yeah. going for my first time. Same same with me yeah. in the late 80s. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. you know, and going and it's like, okay, mm -hmm. your education is complete after yeah. you've done, you know, like two years. Yeah. And then it's like, yeah. okay, well, what do I do now? Just getting started, you know? Yeah, yeah. and there's, you know, and it's yeah. one of the things that um, I'm, I'm graduating with my BA finally mm -hmm. after. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you, thank you. Um, but one of the things, you know, I, and I did, of course, like a history degree and all this other stuff. Um, it's the the disconnect here in the states mm -hmm. between numismatics as a discipline, mm -hmm. as opposed to like in Europe, where mm -hmm. numismatics is actually a discipline. You get yeah. a university education there, right. and I think you're you're really filling a, a gap in some of that mm -hmm. with maybe not so much the the high highfalutin academic side, but with the actual practical knowledge and this is how you be a coin dealer and this is yeah. what you you know you do um, yeah. so we're I, not sitting there studying like dive varieties Larsons yeah. all week which I'm not knocking that that is a no, thing I, of course but we're like you know you know teaching kids like you know there's a lot of different job opportunities available in the coins it's not just going out and cracking out a coin and getting an upgrade you know there's cataloging there's running auction companies there's imaging you know, this professional, being a professional podcast, there's so many things out there, but you know, as a collector, there's all these other skill sets that we teach, so to make you a better collector, grading, authentication, 
resources for pricing. It's just a lot of many different things. And we usually have five scheduled guest speakers to come on out and talk about their specialty. You know, just an example, we're gonna have Patrick Perez come out on Monday to talk about how Graysheet comes up with pricing. That is insanely valuable information. You know, he's editor of Graysheet. And then we have Ian Russell coming out on Friday to talk about how an auction company works, how, how it runs, what he does to run his business. Invaluable information, it really is. So yeah. You know, one of the things that I see this doing is kind of creating a farm mm -hmm. for future dealers because yeah. the only two ways into this business was to be in a family right. or to know somebody. Uh -huh. And that was it. And it was them taking you into their shop, yeah. them teaching you. Mm -hmm. So it highly depended on their skill set as yeah. to whether or not you were ever going to be any good. Right. Now it's it's seeming that there's, there's a, a, a demand for people to actually have the knowledge, to have the skill set that it takes to do these kind right. of things. And you can bring somebody into your company that might actually accentuate or or enhance your skill set versus somebody sure. who's just going to kind of take your torch and carry it a little further. Those, those are excellent points. And I would say there's two big surprising things the first half a day that I had our first winter coin you. By noon, all the instructors took me aside and goes, where the hell did you get all these kids? <laughs> they're incredible. Like they're, the sharpness, their the brain power, and then I, I think the two big surprises, that was kind of the big note, but the two big surprises were how many of them wanted to be coin dealers, blown away, and how many were in the world coins. So when I went to a summer seminar, one in 10 kids wanted to be a, a coin dealer, and then you were kind of an oddball if you were into foreign coins, quite frankly, you know? But it's fascinating, and half of these kids know, know foreign coins. So it's, so it's amazing. So, you know, so we kind of like, wow, okay, so you want to be a coin dealer, okay. So last year was the first year of the advanced class that was taught by Devin Hip and Jim Stoutsesteig. Mm -hmm. Devin Hip, one of the sharpest minds around, grading-wise, wholesale-wise. Jim Stoutsesteig does more wholesale business in the coin industry than anyone. And to have them kind of teach 12 kids in a room, these are the tools, this is what we do. Oh, man. That's what I sat in there. The problem is I, I would, uh, you know, part of my role was uh, each kid would intern at the coin shop for a couple hours, one on one with me, so they get to see how cool they would even work the counter. One kid bought a deal. It was pretty fun, but, but, um, but I remember just like sitting in there going, oh my God, I'm, you know, a professional coin dealer. This is great information. I didn't want to leave to go take, you know, the kids to intern at the shop. But yeah, it was a, it's a lot of fun. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. So, Seth, what would you like people to take away from your program? What would you like them to get from Witter? Get off your ass and do something for the hobby, all right? If you're a coin collector and you've been collecting coins for a long period of time, you know how rewarding it's been for you. You got great friends from it, you have a hobby that's probably made you money over the longer haul. It's time to give back. Without the youth, there really is no future. And there's a lot of very, very simple ways, whether it's giving a little talk at your local coin club, whether if you have a coin shop, you know, kind of giving out coins to some of the youth or having a little talk about Wyans, write a big check to Weeder Coin University, that'll help us out too. But my, my goal is to inspire other programs. We are big fans. Personally, I love the ANA Summer Seminar. Try to volunteer to teach, donate money to that. We want all programs to succeed and we're here to help. That's the big thing.